Today I'm going to be reacting to Phidias's video, I spent seven days alone in the most dangerous forest. Why? Because I'm the one that drove him there. So I can tell you what is real and I'll let you know if anything is fake. And I will tell you, I did notice some stock footage in the video, but it's probably not what you think it is. I should probably explain how this came to be because I didn't know Phidias. I found him by watching Graham Stephan's channel when he had him on the podcast, and I watched maybe one or two videos of his, but I followed him on Instagram, and one day he posts, does anyone in Los Angeles have a car? And I responded, I do. Way to bury the lead, Phidias, because what he needed was a ride to Yosemite, and I agreed to do it. I asked if his whole team was coming. He said no, it was just him, and that's something that I've always been curious about with these videos. Are these videos fake? The I spent seven days alone, or I spent this many days in a circle. I was wondering, who films the videos? Are you really alone? I agreed to drive him up there. Was that stupid? I don't know. I trusted him because Graham trusted him enough to let him in his house for the interview, so I figured, how bad could it be? The plan was just for me to drop him off and come back home to Los Angeles and be done with it. But as I was dropping him off, we both realized that his friends weren't going to be able to figure out where he was. So I decided that I would come back up and pick him up as well. He paid for the hotel, he paid for the gas. So I got a free trip to Yosemite and he got a ride to film his video. Let's get into the video. Let's see what happened while I left Phidias there in the woods alone. This is America's most dangerous forest. That right there is the fake B-roll, the fake stock footage. I don't even know if he knows that that's fake because I know he has his videos edited. So I don't know if that's something his editor just did, but that is not a real shot. That was fake. Then my goal is to survive for the next seven days here alone. He was alone. This forest is no joke. More than 200 people went missing here. This challenge will not be. He calls it the most dangerous forest. And according to my Google sources, it's actually the second most dangerous national park. But I feel like we're splitting hair. Oh my God, I just started the video and I just saw bear. The bear is 100% real. I don't know if he knows that I took this. I took a photo of him watching the bear right after we got there. So the bear was 100% real. I posted that I had seen a bear on my Instagram story that day. So bear, not fake. So the bear is there. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, this is scary. Ha ha ha, look what I found. Oh, the river. That river was gross. He was like, drop me off by the river. And like, that was the littlest, stupidest trickle of water that I've ever seen in my life. But whatever, you do you. You're the one that films these challenge videos. So I guess you know what you're doing. I have no water with me at all. That's also true. He bought a water bottle with him, but no water in it. And it was not like the kind of water bottle that has like the filtration system or whatever. So his plan is to drink out of this gross creek. So I'm going to come close here probably. After the bear disappeared, I was really scared. I saw people drag him in the comments for saying that he was scared when the bear disappeared. Well, yeah, because if you're about to go to sleep, it's probably better to know where the bear is than to not know if the bear is about to sneak up on you. So I put up my tent really fast so I can hide inside. I brought only seven items with me. The sleeping bag, my toothbrush, lighter, knife, a bottle of food. Does the toothbrush and the toothpaste count? You do have your filming equipment and you have clothes. Does that need to count as more items? I'm not really sure, so you guys let me know. And my tent. And every day I will be eliminating one item. Starting from day one. Today I will eliminate the knife. I regret not keeping my knife because that could be the only thing that could protect me from the bear. Okay, I don't really think that knife was gonna protect you from the bear anyway. I think you're supposed to like make yourself big and scare the bear. Now let's put some water in this because I'm thirsty. Oh my God, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Oh, baby. You might be wondering what that water tasted like. It was probably disgusting. Well, not great. Clouds covered all the sky, so I think it's going to rain. Oh. Not fake. I looked at the weather report, he didn't, and I was like, haha, you're gonna have an interesting time. I didn't tell him why, I just knew that the weather was gonna be raining. Hopefully the tent is waterproof. 
I think the forest was trying to scare me because even with thunders, it didn't rain. But I'm still scared of the forest. Now it was time for my first dinner. Organic vegan soup. If I had my knife, I was going to be able to eat with the knife now. I asked him, I was like, so if you get rid of the knife before you get rid of the food, even though he didn't tell me like the order, I was still confused about how this was going to work. I was like, how are you going to can open without a knife? And he was like, Shelly, they all have like that pull top now. I'm going to eat. I guess I'm going to drink the soup. Cheers. Look at this. And the sun goes down. The first night finally came. And I'm not going to lie. I am super scared. So I'm in the sleeping bag. And I hear trees falling. Hopefully the trees around me doesn't fall on me. It's kind of scary. But I feel very safe inside the tent. That's the only good thing. Whatever is going to happen, is going to happen. Hello beautiful people. Good morning, day two. So I came to my private beach for morning shower. Uh, I always hit the cold water before I jump in. Oh my god, it's super cold, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Woo! I love it. Bears, where are you? I'm ready to take you down. Maybe later. Quit looking for bears. It's not now. <laughs> now it's time for my favorite activity. Brushing my teeth. Everything is Phidias's favorite activity and he loves everything. And he's really like that in person, just in case you guys were wondering. Oh my God, it feels so good after I brush my teeth. So on luxury that I don't want to give up. It's food time. I'm going to eat my walnuts. When we were looking for food, he picked up nuts and he was like, oh, these aren't healthy. Nuts, not healthy because they were salted. Like, live a little. You're about to be in the forest for seven days alone. And in my opinion, he didn't even start off with enough food, but whatever. This is a good meal for the forest because it doesn't create any smell when you are eating. But once this is done, I'm going to have to start cooking my food, which is a lot riskier. I have behind me the item that I'm going to remove today. Drum roll, please. It's the water bottle. Okay, I'm not really sorry to see the water bottle go because he is just drinking from the creek anyway so he can just put his mouth in the creek i have to exercise now i'm exercising for three years every other day and i never fail oh, oh it's too heavy so i collected wood light double fire time to use the lighter for the first time hopefully it opens up it does open, so I'm going to light up a fire now. I'm not expert in fire, but I think this is how you do it. Yes, we get some flames here. Have this on the top, slowly, slowly. Oh, that's a big fire, guys. So I opened the fire for two reasons. For the mosquitoes not to bite me and for me to cook my meal. This is my meal for the night. I'm going to put it close here for me to have a hot meal. Hopefully it will work. I'm going to use this stick. This is my sock, and I'm going to take my food. It's ready. Wow, I like it. Oh, he likes food with sock. Mmm, tasty. Everything uh, around is cold, and the soup is hot. Oh, cheers, guys. I love you. I love brushing my teeth. So I'm going to tell you a scary story. The scary story is he's going to probably tell us he loves us again. One man alone in the forest. <gasps> oh, look at outside how beautiful this good morning beautiful yes you this was my two dinners the previous days i can store water inside so i don't need a water bottle every item that i give is strategic but i have to keep the tent because the environment will soon turn against me before i will select an item today i want to tell you about the sponsor of this video I'm not going to make you guys watch the sponsor of the video, but I would like to remind you that if you have not gotten your 12 free stocks with Weeble, please use my link in the description down below. I love you. Behind me, I have the item that I'm going to eliminate today. And as you can see, it's not a tent. Today, I'm giving up the lighter. I will miss hot meals. The sun is going down. 
It's time for me to eat my dinner. Hopefully tonight goes well. There is a lot of wind outside. It's kind of scary. I don't see anything. I'm like locked. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of scary. And as long as I stay in my tent, it will protect me from the freezing cold weather. Morning day four, ladies and gentlemen. Today is day four. I have to eliminate an item. So my toothbrush is the item that I give up the fourth day. As I told you, every other day I'm exercising. So it's day that I have to exercise. After exercising, I had the idea to explore the forest to find out why this is so dangerous, but I ended up getting lost. After reading the map with him, trying to figure out how to pick him up, like I believe that he was lost. This doesn't look good, guys. So many trees has fallen. It looks like a haunted place. One rule that I have in life is never be afraid. Look at this beautiful view. I decided to spend time enjoying the view, but I had to get back to my tent and I had to make it there safely. I love your tent. For um, tomorrow, the challenge starts becoming very difficult. Day five. Going to my sink to drink some water. And I'm thinking what item I'm going to give up now. I'm very happy with the water. I probably drink three liters of water every day. I think it's very healthy. Nothing happened to me. I was about to get rid of my next item, but then it started raining. Oh my God. There is drops of water inside. Everywhere there is getting water. There is leaks of water. Oh my God, I love this tent. Even with the small lakes that we have, it's saving me from all this. Oh my god, it's scary alone. Hopefully, it... I cannot quit. Never give up. Time to give up the next item. And it's my food for the next two days. Yes, you heard right. My food. The rain seems to be stopped. Let's see the damage outside. If this rain starts in the night as well, I will be dead. Do you remember how much water the river had before? Now look at how much. Every day is the best day of my life, guys, as you understood. I say that in every video. But every day it gets better and better and I learn more about myself. Day five, becoming night. Today was the most difficult day so far. Yeah, life is very difficult, honestly. Dealing with people, dealing with relationships is very difficult. Being hard, this is what makes life interesting and meaningful and beautiful. Even with the sleeping bag, it's so cold. This sucks. Tomorrow is going to be hard. Ah. The sun came up and my legs are freezing even with the sleeping bag. Day six, baby. Everything comes down to this day and night. This is what left. Tomorrow morning, I'm gone. So I'm going to exercise now. Remember, every other day I exercise. Time lapse. And now after gym, it's time for my shower. I like this shower more than the one that I take at home. It's more fun. I have two items left. Very valuable, both of them. But I'm going to do the crazy thing and give up the tent. Okay, on the car ride up there, I did try and encourage him to give up the tent like really early in the challenge. I don't know if that's just mean since I did know that there was rain coming, but I feel like as a viewer, I want you to struggle a little bit. Probably I will regret this decision. And I'm also going to regret not bringing first aid kit. As you can see here, it started raining. So now I'm searching desperately for a cave to go inside. So I found a rock here and then I'll find a better place. While I'm trying to avoid the rain here, I wanted to say that this method with eliminating items is inspired by my friend Mr. Beast and he gets the credit. I love you Mr. Beast. It doesn't seem that I took the right decision. So the rain stopped. This looks promising guys. Everything around is wet but here is not wet. I'm covered. Is this going to be my spot? It's like comfortable honestly. This is a spot man. I prefer this more than the tent. So my spot here needs some good renovation. Let's see what we can do. Pretty good, right? I'm going to go inside because it's very cold. I didn't eat food from yesterday morning and I'm not going to eat until tomorrow. So one thing left to do, I'm going to collect these things and put them for me to sleep on. When I was cutting this, I got injured and it's quite deep. I don't have any water with me to wash it. 
I have no first aid kit. I'm completely alone in the forest. It's been like 10 minutes and the blood is still going out. It's a bit deep. Okay, and I want to say that when I picked him up, it had been really cold like the night before because it did rain like the previous two nights to when I picked him up. So when I picked him up, he's like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. Big surprise because he says that to everything. But like I noticed like he wasn't moving his hand. And so I turned on the heater in my car because I thought like his hands were just cold. And then like he turned his hand. I was like, what in the world happened? And he was like, I got cut. And then he's like, look, it's on my shirt. But he's like, hey, that's going to make the video better. I hope that your finger is not infected, Phidias. I want you to see my invention. This is my bed. Imagine like the birds doing a nest. Why does adding more sticks under your sleeping bag make it better? That just seems like more things to poke you in my opinion. This is like a nest. Hopefully it will keep me extra warm. If I survive this freezing cold night, challenge completed. Oh my god. This seems comfortable. This is more comfortable than my tent. So we have another 10 hours until the morning. Hopefully I can get some sleep. It's kind of dangerous guys here. Not gonna lie guys, I'm a bit scared, but at least I'm comfortable here. What day is today? Day seven, baby! After long seven days in the most dangerous forest in America, I finished! I think Phidias actually really has a good grasp on who he is. I think he's doing a lot of things right that even at my age I'm still figuring out. He takes cold showers, he eats healthy, he exercises regularly. I've seen him say that he meditates regularly. So he seems to be doing all the things that put you on a successful path in life. So Phidias, I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you did the challenge. <laughs> oh my God, it doesn't feel real. And now he had the board in there. Sometimes you need to be alone in order to find out who you really are and what you really want out of life.